everybody, uh, Nick Maxwell here. Uh, today's one tank tip will be on pirouetting flips. Uh, this is a maneuver that everybody likes. It's a real crowd pleaser and uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, so there's multiple different ways to do it. So I'll just show you my variation on it. Go ahead and pull up into a hover here. One common misconception is that uh, pirou flips are all about timing. Um, I found that actually if you fly through the pirou flip and pick out the the four major orientations, it makes them a lot easier, specifically when you want to start reversing and moving the model around during the pirou flip uh, and all that stuff. So we're going to click into idle up here. To kind of start out, this is what I found seems to help. Most people tend to like to pirouette uh, to the left. I'm going to go ahead and pirouette to the right just for this. Um, this that's my preferred direction. Um, but also, a lot of people prefer to start the flip outward. Uh, so. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, half flip out. Now we're gonna rotate the nose, whichever direction you prefer, 90 degrees. Half flip out, 90 degrees. Half flip out, 90 degrees. Half flip out, 90 degrees. If you notice, there's four different orientations there and uh, it's you end up in the exact same position that you started in. The reason for this is as you start to actually combine the pirou flip, so say we're going to incorporate a half a pirou into a, uh, into a flip here. Push out, pull back, pull back. So now we're inverted. Right aileron, down elevator. This is where those aileron orientations help you even for just when we're ending up nose in or tail in. So half flip, left aileron, up elevator. Now we're going to go up, left, and down elevator. Okay. So now we'll start to just kind of add some more pirouettes in there. And you'll see, so right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up. And you can see where those four orientations that we did stationary come into play in in a full pirou flip where you never stop the tear rotor. So now we'll start going a little faster here. So now here what I'm seeing is I'm seeing the bottom of the helicopter, top of the helicopter. Bottom, top. And you try to watch the nose. You want the nose to always flip out in this type of pirou flip. So we're seeing we're going to need down elevator. Now we're going to need up. Up, down, down, up. And you also tend to try to pay attention to the way that the nose is. So with uh, the nose left, we're gonna give right aileron with the disc towards us. So right, left, right, left. So when the skids are in, when the skid's in and the nose is right, you're gonna give left aileron. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll start, we'll do this four point part again just to give you just to show you and I'll morph it into continuing the pirou flip. So we'll go. Oh excuse me here we'll start over. Half flip 90 degree half flip 90 degree half flip 90 degree half flip 90 degree. Now we're gonna hold a slow pirouette so right down that's that first orientation second and as you get faster you can see where that comes into play. Same thing for reversing when you start wanting to reverse. You can use that same technique to reverse. Some kind of neat things here just to take a basic pirou flip and add a little, I call it character. Um, a lot of guys like Tariq, they tend to do pirou flips and they'll pump the pitch one direction. This is actually just a pirou flip. So even though we're doing pirouetting pogos, this is still the same thing. It's a pirou flip. You can see where those, learning those orientations really help build into other maneuvers. So hopefully that helps you learn and get comfortable with pirou flips. 